Hi everybody, Jodie here, Decorous Vintage Designs and in today's video I just want to have a little chat with you about Etsy. I just want to share with you some tips and tricks that I've learned along the way and hopefully help you get selling your furniture better on Etsy. So these are kind of generic Etsy tips that could work with any product really but I am going to base this video on furniture specifically. So Etsy is a great platform for selling on and a great starter platform before you have a website um, or anything like that set up. So it's perfect for beginners. There is a whole network of customers to tap into on there. Etsy um, is very intuitive, very easy to use and it's just a great search engine to put your products in. So here are my tips for selling furniture on Etsy. So my first and I would say one of probably one of the most important tips I'm going to give you today is to make sure that you have a really, really good photo for your product. Make sure your product is staged well, make sure the lighting's good and make sure that it fits within the thumbnail. You know, you don't want it too close up, you don't want it too far away, you want your customers to be able to see it as they're scrolling through the feed and you want it to jump out at your customers. You can do this by using various apps such as Snapseed and PicMonkey to crop your photos so that they are the perfect size for an Etsy thumbnail. It's the first thing that your customers are going to see and it's what is going to drive your customers to your shop. And if you go on Etsy right now and have a scroll through the search engine, I don't know, type in green upcycled furniture or something like that, you'll see straight away the pieces that jump out at you, that look professional, that look really, really good in the photos compared to the ones that may not look so professional and may not be as photographed as well. Just put yourself in your customer's shoes. If you were that person that was scrolling through that feed, where would you want to buy from? And what product would you be more drawn to? You could have the best painted piece of furniture in the world. You could be the best artist in the world. If that photo isn't good and it doesn't grab potential customers, then I, you know, you're really setting yourself up for failure. So make sure you get that photo spot on. It's also worth having more than one photo. So your first photo is almost the um, magazine cover to the furniture piece. Just think of it that way and then add extra photos into Etsy. You can add up to 10 photos and just show different shots. Show close-up shots, show side angles, what does the top look like so that your customer can get a full feel of what the furniture is. So my next tip is to make sure you write a really good description for your piece of furniture. Um, it doesn't have to be like crazy elaborate and poetic or anything like that. Make sure you make it sound both desirable and also practical. So what I mean by that is maybe just add a really nice little um, description just to start with to grab your customer like beautiful blue boho piece, um, perfect for an eclectic home or something like that. Maybe describe a little bit of what work has gone into it like um i don't know so for example i have used voc chalk mineral paint and led lots of color to achieve this really rustic look and then finished off with dark wax for an authentic aged feel and see what i did there as well i threw in the voc free part just kind of casually dipped it in there and that also tells my customer that the paint is toxic free um, and then maybe then get more onto the practical side of things such as this piece has six drawers They all open smoothly the interior is painted or not painted um, It's in solid condition and Then also write what your delivery fees are what the dimensions are um, And also just a little caveat that I always put on there just to cover myself is I always add Colors may vary slightly depending on display settings What you also need is a really good title and a and some really good tags So the word for this is SEO So what this means is search engine optimization Which in a nutshell just basically means you use some keywords to try and push your listing further out into the Etsy algorithm. I know that's probably sounded like a mouthful, but I'm going to explain it. So a keyword might be um, a descriptive word for your piece, such as green, um, bedside table, um, storage, bedroom. These are all keywords. So it describes the furniture. It describes where that furniture might be. And you might also want to target your a specific audience within that. So you put your SEOs or your keywords in different places on Etsy. 
Firstly, you want to optimize your title and get as many keywords as you can in there because that can really help. Take this piece for example. So it's quite a rustic piece. It's looking for a specific customer and it's a chest of drawers. So I might put in my title, chest of drawers, upcycled furniture, hand painted furniture, um, rustic decor, living room, bedroom, those kinds of words. And then when you actually get to your tags on Etsy, you want to be a little bit more specific, such as orange, yellow, rustic. And then you just kind of want to use singular words for that. And then Etsy can pick that out. And then that combined with having some strong keywords in your title and also throw a few keywords in your description as well. That's going to tell Etsy exactly what you're selling. It's going to make Etsy feel confident in putting it out into search feeds for when customers search for your furniture. Just another thing to think about as well is when you are actually writing your listing is to make sure you think about what questions your customer might ask. So you might have, again, this amazing piece, you have some amazing photos, your SEOs, you know, your tags and your keywords, they're on point, but actually there might be some questions that people might ask about the furniture and some questions you've not answered in your description. So a good example of this might be, um, you know, something I have personally had a lot is I am not always very good at taking photos of interiors or even sometimes writing the description of the interior in my feed. I think this sometimes can put customers off because obviously they want to know what the interior looks like as well. So if you get asked a question by a customer, then make sure you add it afterwards into your description or you edit the listing somehow to make sure that question is answered. Because if one customer is having that question, then it's guaranteed that other customers will have that question as well. So on Etsy, make sure as well that you um, really put some time into the about you section this is the place where you get to be personal and your customers can get to know you a little bit more i always feel a customer likes to buy from a personality or a person rather than just a generic brand so this is where you get to really show you and also by doing this by adding a little bit of description about yourself um by making it personal by, I don't know, even maybe putting a few photos on there and having a logo, it's going to make you look more professional and it's going to help customers connect with you more and trust you more and therefore want to buy from you. And what you can also do on Etsy is if you do have customers that decide, actually, yeah, you are totally my cup of tea. I really like what you're about. I like your furniture. So in order to connect with that customer further, what you need to do is put your social media links in the, um, in the description, in the about you section you can put your YouTube, your Instagram, your Facebook and customers then can give you a follow on those social media platforms and you have just gained a bit more of a connection from a customer. A very obvious tip here but make sure you deliver good stellar service to um, get good reviews so obviously the more reviews that you've got that are five star or really good star ratings the more a customer's going to trust and buy from you. It can be a little bit frustrating to start with when you've got no reviews. So, you know, you just have to be patient and eventually those reviews will build up. Once you have plenty of them, then yeah, and then people are going to know that you're a good shop to buy from and that they're going to get good service. What I do in my Etsy shop is I actually send out an automated message when a customer buys something. What I actually say is thank you so much for your custom and that I would actually love to see a photo of the piece of furniture in its home if you get a chance to take one and if you are happy with the piece of furniture and happy with the service you received then I would also appreciate a review so don't be scared to ask a customer to you know give you a review because sometimes the people are really busy and they will forget so just a little nudge there sometimes can lead a customer then to give you a good review so I really hope you enjoyed these tips guys I haven't wanted to go in crazy detail um, but if there are, if you have any questions then feel free to ask me questions in the comments below if there's anything more specific you want me to go into then I could also do another video on something a little bit more specific and detailed in the future and take care thank you and bye bye